Well, terrific. Well, good morning. It's a great day here, and I'm glad to be surrounded by uh, so many great San Diegans who uh, share in our excitement uh, about today's announcement. Joining me are Council Member Scott Sherman, Council Member Marty Emerald, Stacey Lamedico, who's our Assistant Chief Operating Officer, James Nagelvort, Public Works Director, Mark Nasser, our Public Works Deputy Director, Herman Parker, our Parks and Recreation Director, Bill Fulton, our City Planning Department Director, Brian Schoenfish, who is a senior planner with the planning department, Mickey Vukovic from the Tony Hawk Foundation, and it looks like half of the neighborhood in City Hall wanted to be here today. So uh, this is, you can't blame them uh, for a great day. Uh, very clearly, the youth of San Diego have spoken, and your mayor and city council members have listened. At long last, Linda Vista and City Heights will have skate parks. Yes. Yes. Proud to be here today to join my colleagues to announce that the city of San Diego has been awarded a four and a half million dollar grant to design and construct skate parks in Linda Vista and our City Heights communities. And as mayor, I can simply say that this is great news for our entire community. And certainly as a father, I know how important it is for all San Diego families and for our kids who are going to use these two great skate parks. You know, I was a young person once as well. I was talking to our gang here and I was saying, you know, I rode a Sims taper kick board, ACS trucks, hot lips wheels, but they probably don't exist anymore. But that's okay because we got the, uh, the folks here, they're gonna have a great time when this skate park opens. You know, what's great is that the city is using these grant funds to construct two innovative and custom built concrete skateboard parks here in Linda Vista community park as well as Parc de la Cruz in City Heights. And these grant funds are the result of a collaborative effort between the California Department of Housing and Community Development and the San Diego Housing Commission, our City Council President Todd Gloria and City Council members Scott Sherman, Marty Emerald and Lori Zaff who have all been drivers on this fantastic process. And I also want to say a special thank to Mickey Vukovic of the Tony Hawk Foundation, which has donated $80,000 uh, combined to these two skate parks. Thank you again to the Tony Hawk Foundation. Yes, Tony Hawk. So it's great. This is a lot of, uh, a lot of planning and a long of time uh, in the works. San Diego was awarded the State of California grant to acknowledge the city's work in constructing affordable housing units. The city created and preserved 1,300 affordable housing units during the 18-month grant application period. The state of California recognized our efforts, and as a result, these two communities have been rewarded. We're going to be fantastic community amenities. By working together, we're taking great strides to solve San Diego's housing issues, build a united community where our youth can thrive in a safe and healthy environment. That's part of what today is all about. So I want to thank everybody for their perseverance, uh, for their great work. Uh, this is a great day for these two neighborhoods, a great day for our city of San Diego as we provide more opportunities for our youth. Now I'm happy to turn it over to my colleagues that uh, really were leaders in securing this grant, Council Member Scott Sherman and Council Member Marty Emerald. Council Member Sherman. Thank you all. Thank you all for being here. This is an amazing day. You know, from the from the first day I started running for office a year and a half, two years ago, back here in Linda Vista, everywhere I went, I heard about the need for a skate park. So when we were lucky enough to be elected, we decided to sit down and try and figure out a way to do it. You know, money isn't that, that easy and wasn't flowing freely at City Hall, so that we had to get creative. And I put some of my staff members to work. And I just really want to thank. Uh, Tommy Nepper, who used to work for me, Jack Straw, who currently works for me, they did an amazing job, along with Brian Schoenfish and the city staff, of going out and finding creative ways to find the money to, to fund these parks. Took us about a year and a half, but we're here today and we're ready to go. It's going to be a great day. You know, this whole process started with that, that grant money that we were looking for. And as we applied for it and we kept going, we started realizing that, look, you know, there's some, we, we might be able to get some extra money. We've done a really good job and we're qualifying for, for some more money. So the money actually went from a $3 million grant that we applied for up to $4.5 million grant. When that came along, we knew that Marty had been spearheading and working tirelessly to come up with a skate park in her district. And we figured, you know what, let's make, 
the skate parks happen in both districts, and that's what we're here about today. It shows what community involvement, community will can accomplish through their elected leaders. I'm very happy to, to have helped push it along, even though it was mostly staff. They do all the work. We just come up with the good ideas. You know, the, the, the kids you're looking at here, they're dying to get out and, and do some skating. <laughs> what, one of the good things about this, this money is it's kind of under a time frame on, on when we have to spend it and get this thing built. And I, and I know with the community, with the staff, Will, with the mayor and three different council members all pushing for this, I'm sure we'll be able to get this done within the time frame allotted with the grant money. So without further ado, I want to introduce my council uh, colleague, Marty Emerald, and let her discuss what is going on in City Heights. Thank you. I want to I thank Scott and his staff for including us in this wonderful journey uh, to create some skate parks and, and wonderful places for young people. Uh, this is true collaboration by uh, the City Council and the Mayor's Office. I also want to acknowledge Brian Schoenfish. He's standing back here hiding. <laughs> but, but, Step on up, man. You know, um, a lot of people say a lot of things about people who work at the city of San Diego. This is an example of somebody who takes the bull by the horns. He, he found a resource. He, he pursued it. It was like a pit bull. He's got his teeth into it, and he wouldn't let go. And because of that, we are here today with not just a promise, but a deadline to build a skate park for these kids who are here. Uh, and the children who live in City Heights as well. In fact, uh, the City Heights young people, Mid-City Can, the Community Action Network, came to our office uh, with their skateboards under their arms. They were like a small army, and they said, we need a skate park. And they did. They do, because these kids otherwise are skating in the streets, in alleys, up and down driveways. They're not safe in those environments. And we all know that when our kids are having fun, and they're together challenging themselves, enjoying a sport, jumping and flying, and, and testing their abilities. They're not on the street in, the, in harm's way. They're not on the street getting into trouble or becoming victims of crime. And so this is a, a, not just an issue of resources for kids, this is a public safety issue as well. So I'm really excited about this day. Are you guys excited? Yeah. Oh, come on, what are you, asleep? Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we do have a deadline. This money's got to be spent, and these young people have to be in that park enjoying it within two years. And we're here to say that we're on this, and we're going to make it happen. Uh, thank you for everybody for making this possible. Brian and Scott and your staff, Mayor Faulkner, uh, this is a wonderful day, and an even better day, within the next two years when awesome. we're cutting the ribbon and all these young people are enjoying the park. Uh, so with that, I'll turn it back to the mayor. Yeah. Well, looks like I got a promotion. I'm not exactly the mayor. So, um, But, you know, we, we talk about the time frame and what we're supposed to get this thing built. And, and I think the amount of city staff here and high level staff shows that they understand that this is imperative we get this done in time. And really, I have one question for the kids before we present this check. Do you guys know what bureaucracy is? Uh, see? see? They don't know. All they know is they want to get out and get skating. But the rest of us here, we'll be able to get it done. We'll find a way. We'll get this thing done in a couple of years. So with that, let's bring the... One more speech. I've got to tell my kids over here how proud I am of them because of the fact that we got 1,781 signatures and 80 businesses backing us in Linda Vista. And we're a very diverse community and we made this happen because we spoke up. And I'm so proud of these kids to get this park and I want them to be able to use it and know that they did what they did and we did it. Right on guys. <laughs> now, I'm going to give this mic back to the mayor. Okay. Thank you. Or I think ready to do Kevin, the check here. who wants it? Do you want some money, Why don't we bring it? you guys. We want, we want to give the check to the kids because they're the ones who are going to need it. Yeah. There he is. Yeah. There it is. He's going to make it, isn't it? Oh, yeah. 
We did it! Yeah, so I've been trying to figure out where we're going. Good copy, guys!